Hi, Sue Armato at the Cancer Support Center. We are so excited and so grateful that Astro selected us to receive one of the grants this year. Isn't it amazing? It really is. We're so grateful, we're gonna do amazing things. But we wanna tell you a little bit about the center first. So the Cancer Support Center is here in Homewood and also in Mokina. We provide comprehensive cancer supportive services. We've been around for about 30 years. We serve people from any area, any location, and any cancer, as well as if you're a loved one, a caregiver, um, if you're bereaved, we're here for you because we believe that nobody should walk the cancer journey alone. Kathleen, can you share more information about like what sort of programs we actually offer here? Absolutely, so I'm Kathleen, I'm the clinical program director at the Cancer Support Center. We know that the cancer experience is robust and there's a myriad of experiences and emotions that can come along with that. So we have our programming based in a five-point model to address as many issues, side effects, and experiences that come to us from our participants. So we have nutrition, physical education and wellness, counseling and stress management, body image, and education and networking. So from massages to our wig boutique to supportive groups based on your particular type of cancer, um, to bereavement groups as well, like Sue mentioned, we really try to provide a well-rounded experience for anyone impacted by cancer so that we can address anything that they're struggling with and really walk that journey with them. Yeah, and I think it's been really exciting because we've actually started to partner with hospitals. Mm -hmm. So we're in seven different hospitals down in the Chicago Southland area where we can bring our therapists on site, some of our fitness, our yoga, some of that, and we love that because we can immediately partner with our medical professionals, including radons, and make sure that our cancer patients are getting their services right away. Yes, and in addition to the participants that we serve, we're here for the entire healthcare community as well. So from presentations on burnout and compassion fatigue to just time with our, with our clinicians to just process everything that the cancer community as healthcare professionals is dealing with has been a huge part of our mission in the last few years. What has been a, kind of amazing about the pandemic is that it really pushed us forward with our programming to be able to offer things virtually and in a hybrid fashion as well. So our programming is more accessible than ever. We have wonderful videos on our website that you can access anytime or plenty of programming on our Zoom platform as well. Absolutely, so if anybody would want to take advantage of the professional caregiver programming, even if they're say in Boston yeah. or LA, we could do that for them, right? They would Absolutely. just have to contact us and we'd be able to work that out. Mm -hmm. I think the other really exciting thing that we started was our health equity program, yes. which is called Kick It Cancer. So we are very excited to be able to go into four communities where they have higher morbidity rates in breast and, and prostate cancers. Um, kind of limited access to healthcare, some barriers. And we're actually going into the communities door to door explaining why it's so important to get the screenings and to actually line up and bring screenings to those communities. Right. And we're really, for the center, we haven't done that before. We're normally we bring, have people come here, but now we're going to the communities and we're really hoping that we can have a, a really major impact, right? So a lot of exciting things happening at the center. Absolutely, and this funding is actually gonna go a long way for us to just increase our reach. Absolutely, yeah, with the, the videos that we're gonna make that are incrementally explaining what we do here, kind of breaking down the barriers, mm -hmm. um, showing that we're warm, compassionate people in a, right. in a nice, comfortable setting that more people want to come and see us because our whole thing is that nobody should walk cancer journey alone. Right. Um, even if you have a lot of support in your personal life helping you, sometimes it's nice to go to people outside of that network, mm -hmm. right? You see that all the time with your participants you work with. Absolutely. There's nothing like learning and hearing from other survivors or individuals who have lived your same experiences. And so we really encourage everyone to reach out, try a few programs, see what you think. And so, yes, we're so excited to have these intro videos to do even more of that and hopefully reach our community members impacted by cancer even sooner. So thank you. We're super grateful that you selected us. We hope that some of you will take a look at our website and maybe you'll call us and ask us to do some programming in your location. We're happy to do it. We just want, again, want to make sure everyone has access to the sports they need right. to have a higher quality of life and find that inner strength to fight the battle that we know you're helping um, our cancer patients.
patients do every day. So thank you for what you do and thank you for the grant.